Welcome back, everyone. We are here on our CBS 8 Backlot. We are with our friends from the Hawthorne Country Store talking about Chicktopia, a big event taking place, right? It is. It's giant. So this is Heather. She's joining us alongside J-Law, right? Mm -hmm. uh, to talk about this event taking place, we even have some of the chicks here with us. Uh, so for starters, tell us about your three different locations, right? Mm -hmm. and, and what the purpose of your guys' stores is. Okay, perfect. So uh, we have three stores in Fallbrook, Escondido, and Santee. And Chicktopia is our once a year event when we have the most baby poultry available at one time. Right. So if you wanna start your home flock, it's the perfect time to do that. And then they can eventually be full size like this, right? Full size like this. And you know, poop and breakfast. That's right, poop and breakfast. That's the best part of this <laughs> is that you were saying, I mean, obviously there's a, a variety of purposes of why people want uh, chicks and chickens eventually. Mm -hmm. uh, so you have like, what, over a hundred Types? 106 varieties available 106 varieties. for Chicktopia this year. I didn't know there were 106 varieties. Oh my gosh, there's so chickens. many more. I learn a new one all the time. I'm constantly learning. So tell us about the ones that we have here. So these little guys, and everybody's a little bit different. Some breeds are more for eggs, some are more just because they're beautiful. This one that's sleeping right now, you can oh, see his little top. He's sleeping. Oh, he Hi, just baby. woke up. So oh, that's a, a, a Polish, which means it gets a nice big hairdo. I mean, almost as good as J. Lau's hairdo, but Wait. yes. <laughs> and, and the reason why we have J. Lau here with us is because you guys have an event going on uh, mm -hmm. in order to, of course, celebrate the 106 uh, different types of chicks that you have. Um, so tell us about the event taking place. Well, I mean, baby chicks is a party in itself, <laughs> right? So we just thought, what better to make it even more of a party every year? Um, we do a preview event the night before, and we call it the Peep Show. And so because it is a party, because you get chicks, because it is springtime, mm -hmm what better than to add some sparkle. Exactly. So we have entertainment coming as well this And time. so you'll be performing Friday and Saturday, is that Just right? Just Friday Just night. Friday? Okay, it's Friday mm -hmm. night. So that's when like the big shebang is gonna happen. Friday night is the peep show. It is a sold out event, but because your listeners um, need to have an opportunity, if they would like to like and comment on our Facebook, Ooh. they can win a ticket to the sold out event. Okay, so it's Hawthorne Country Store on Facebook, right? That's correct. Um, but Saturday go. is open to everybody at all three locations. There we go. So you could win a ticket to that peep show on Friday night. Uh, you also have a, a bunch of different uh, things that can help if you say already have your chicks or yeah. your chickens. Food, for example, right? Yeah, absolutely. Food all the way from non-GMO, organic, medicated to prevent some things. I mean, we even have herbs that we mix in to their bedding to make things smell good and wow. to prevent parasites. They can There's live better lives than I do. I, I work hard so my chickens don't have to. Exactly. So these are these are all different types of chicks, right? They are. They are. There's some white rocks, Polish. We've got two ducklings in here, Rowans and Pekins. This is a Wyandotte, which are kind of known as divas. They're really beautiful okay. when they grow up. This one here lays green eggs. This is an Easter egger. So cute. So cute. They're all so adorable. Yes, we have um, different colors eggs, the dark brown, the pink, the tan, all the way through to the blue and green. Now the question that I have for you is say people are watching at home, uh, they have plenty of land, they mm -hmm. want to start this process uh, of kind of being sufficient on their own land. Right. Uh, is this something that takes a ton of work and a ton of effort? Is it something that takes a, a little bit of time to get established and then yeah. is a little bit easier? What's that like? Yeah, absolutely. So really the thing about starting with homesteading, mm -hmm. even on a small scale, is to be prepared. Okay. So if you have a lot, nice plan, you know where your coop's gonna be, you've checked to make sure you're allowed to have chickens in your area, right. you can do it on a small scale, three or four chickens, you can do it in a large scale, you can add it to part of your gardening. Uh, homesteading is Americana. It is it is patriotic. It's an important thing that we're allowed to do and we get to do. And in San Diego, we have good weather, so they why not? They can even have probiotics. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It helps keep this their gut amazing. healthy. It helps with stress. It's a really wonderful. And then you've got heat lamps. you got really all the items that you need, mm -hmm. not only the chicks, right? Yep. Uh, I mean, uh, this is a pretty incredible event in that I doubt that there are many places in San Diego where you can get this kind of variety of chicks. I right? don't think there is. I have people that are driving from Vegas for this wow. event because it's that big of a deal to be able to get all that you were looking for all at one time and really pick and choose. And tell us more about uh, the big kickoff event. If people want to go online, comment on your guys' Facebook, yes. they can possibly win a ticket and what's going to be happening. Come see J-Lo. She's performing. performing. Are you excited? I am. I'm very excited. 
excited. I have a couple numbers for you. Ooh. So if you want to see them, you got to come. There we go. Yeah. Very excited. Yeah. Got to get a ticket, we right? We have Sunnyside's bringing quiche because, you know, eggs. And it's just a really fun way to kick off spring. I mean, that sounds great to be able to have your chickens lay their eggs, eat breakfast every morning. Like mm -hmm. you said, poop and breakfast. Poop That's and great. breakfast. Um, <laughs> really quickly before we go, remind us where people can go just for more information on the Hawthorne Country Store. Sure. HawthorneCountryStore.com. So we are a website, our Facebook, our Instagram. There's stuff on all of those, and it's all just Hawthorne Country Store. Before we go, why do you do this? Why do you love it? I love it because I think it's important for people to understand where their food comes from yeah. and to educate and be able to raise some of your own food. That's kind of how this evolved, mm -hmm. was that my mom taught us that. So we're teaching it now to our community. And now you're carrying on the legacy. Yep. Um, also, for you, where can people find you on social media? Um, on Instagram, you can find me at official J Lau. So official, oh, official. J -L -A -U. There we go. The one and only. Good luck <laughs> uh, at the event. And again, go on their Facebook page for more information. Over 106 different chicks. And then what is this feed? Is that what you would call feed, it? Feed, treats, supplies, Do you have other the live whole animals? thing. Well, yeah, of course. Okay, so <laughs> see, that's a little, that's what we call lambs, a tease. Lambs, goats. There we go. You just oh, never know what you're going to find at We're going to need you guys to come back with the lambs and the goats <laughs> at some point <laughs> for more as well. <laughs> back to you guys.